Good morning, everyone. I've got a job success story for you today from Keela. So Keela says, hi, and yes, I just wanted to share my job success story with you. I've never been a person who was desperate about a job. To me, it didn't matter where I worked, but this particular job I really, really wanted. It fit me perfectly. It was at a spa 15 minutes away from where I live. After seeing it online, I went into the ne- in the next day to drop off my resume and fell in love immediately. I love the atmosphere and everything. I mentally took note of every detail and envisaged myself walking into the building again, but this time I'd actually be working there. This was around Valentine's Day, so the staff told me they were busy, but they were holding interviews a few days afterwards. I waited anxiously until that day. I even got even called a few times to make sure they wouldn't forget about me. On the day of the interview, I never received a call back. So after multiple attempts of reaching them days later, I texted their hotline number and they told me they weren't hiring anymore. I was so angry. I went on to call them unprofessional because I felt like they gave me the runaround instead of telling me whether or not I was qualified. At that point, I figured it wasn't meant for me and I moved on to search for another job, which was the most part was unsuccessful. About three weeks later, I went on to an event on my campus that informed students about how to relieve stress and things like that. There were massage tables set up for students to get free massages. I then noticed one of the massage therapists was my friend from high school's mum. We spoke for a while and she told me how she worked at the spa. I applied four weeks earlier, which surprised me. I went on to tell her that I had really wanted to work there, but they never called me back, so I had let it go. She explained that they were actually really busy at the time. They just hired someone, so they stopped looking for people, but now that person is leaving, so there's a spot available. I was shocked. She was even kind enough to put in a good word to the manager about me the next time she went into work. We exchanged numbers and kept in contact. One thing led to another, and I ended up resubmitting my resume having an interview and being hired the very next day. It's important to note that two other people were interviewed the same day, but I was chosen because I wasn't worried about competition. I knew I had wanted this for a long time, that I gave a great first impression and the job was already mine. Words cannot express how happy I was and still am. Once I went in for my first day, I truly felt like this job was meant for me and I manifested it all on my own. All of my co-workers loved me immediately and told me how much better I am than the person who got fired, lol. Overall, it's amazing to me how everything aligned perfectly. If I never went to the event at my school, I wouldn't have never met her and ended up being referenced to her boss. Meanwhile, during that time, I took searching for another job. The universe rubbed the other person out in order to make room for me to work there. This experience taught me that surrendering and letting go is honestly all that you need sometimes. Prior to getting the job, I only visualized it once and let it go. I guess because I'm normally detached from the outcomes of jobs, it came to me quickly, but the process itself was simply indescribable and all up to the universe. Patience is a virtue as well. Do not lose faith in what you want so long as you know. It feels good in your heart and you aren't desperate about it. I'll come to you, it'll come to you in one way or another. I hope others find inspiration from my story and remember to never give up. Intentions and desires are so much more powerful than you think. Lovely, Keela. Thank you, thank you. I will put the rest of the dream job success stories meditations playlist down below for those of you that are really needing some help with work. And I will also put down below the few interviews that I did about helping another small business startup. For those of you that want to create something on your own rather than work for somebody else, creating meaningful work, I'll put that down below for you too. All right, lots of love and I will see you in the next YouTube.